In 1988, after 26 years' research into Churchill's life, in more than 500 archives, I completed the eighth volume of the official Churchill biography. I then set about reworking it to produce a single volume, this book, Churchill Alive, in which I was able, in the first 150 pages, to completely rewrite the work that had been done by Churchill's son, Randolph Churchill, and to weave into that period from Churchill's birth until 1914 a mass of new and exciting documentary material that had come to light since Randolph Churchill's first two volumes were published. This one volume book attempts to tell the story, and I hope succeeds, of Churchill the public man and Churchill the private man, of Churchill the politician, of Churchill the statesman, of Churchill the painter, of Churchill the writer, above all of Churchill's personality, who he was, what made him tick, what produced that twinkle in his eye, and what produced sometimes that frown on his forehead. It's the story of the whole of Churchill's life, a life of 90 years, of which 70 were spent in public office and political activity. It spans two world wars, and it tells the story of how this man was often regarded with dislike and even contempt by his fellow countrymen, how he fought for their approval, how he won it by the quality of his ideas and his foresight, and how in the Second World War, when Britain seemed on the verge of total defeat, he rallied the nation to believe in its own faith that it could see through the bad times and eventually come to victory. Someone once said to him, you are the lion who saved Britain. And he said, no, no, I wasn't the lion, but it fell to me to give the lion's roar. And so he did. And this book reflects Churchill's life in all its difficulties, problems, struggles, and in all its achievements and glory.